Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Deathbot from 32 Academy. Let's read the question together. So this question is a combinatrix question. The question said that the number 1, 2, 3 all the way until 7 are uh, randomly divided into two non-empty subsets. Okay, so two non-empty subsets. So let's say the probably the first subset is 1, 2, then the second subset is 3, 4 all the way until 7. Okay, so the probability that the sum of the numbers in the two subset being equal is p okay so find it probability p so how would we do this let's try together so the approach to solve this combinatrix question would be first thing first i want to find how many ways of dividing into two non-empty subsets okay so the total numbers of where of dividing the seven numbers okay these seven numbers into two non empty subset so without the condition of the sum being equal first so you have seven numbers all right so how many subset would you have this would be my first question to you if you have a set of seven numbers how many subsets do you have that would be two to the power of seven all right two to the power of seven will be the numbers of all the subsets okay but i need to minus two because it will be non-empty okay why i minus two not minus one because if i need to split right then if one is empty the other one is full of the whole set okay so i need to ignore the kind of subsets that is all empty or include everything okay so i need to include those two subset and divide it by two because dividing by two because of the identities of the subsets doesn't matter okay if i split it into let's say one two and three four five all the way until seven let's say it's the same as i split it into three four seven and one two here because the identity of the subset doesn't matter okay? because it, I'm, as, I'm, I'm now just trying to find the total number of ways of dividing okay so keep that in mind 2 to the power of 7 is 128 minus 2, 126 divided by 2 is 63. So this would be at my denominator. Next thing to consider is the sum of in each subset must be the same. First thing first, the sum of 1 all the way until 7. Everything, this will be just 7 times 8 divided by 2, right? So that's 28. That means because each subset have the same sum, that means that the sum in each subset would equal to 14H. Okay. Now I want to focus on these three numbers, 5, 6, 7. This add together is 18, which is already above 14. Okay. So if this three number is already add together above 14, meaning that this three number cannot be in the same group. Okay. 5, 6, 7 cannot be in the same subset. So I would break into cases. So case 1, okay, case 1, 6 and 7, same group or same subset, okay, whereby this 8, I'm sorry, not 8, the 5 is in the other group, in the other. Okay, so what kind of dividing would that be you need the sum to be 14 right this is already 
17 uh, this is 7 and 6 is that is already 13 right so I only need 1 6 7 okay that means that this the rest right 3 4 5 and that's all right because 6 and 7 in the same I need only and I can only add one more the second cases what else 5 and 6 same subset and now I 7 is the other okay so 5 and 6 the sum is already 11 right I need the sum to be 14 so it can be 1 2 because I need extra 3 and of course the 3 alone and that so, all right so of course accordingly if my first subset is one two five six this is just whatever the rest is right three four seven and if this is three five six that means the rest will be one two four seven okay the third case would be now is the five seven same group and the six is the other subset so 5 and 7, the sum is already 12. I need the sum need to be 14. I cannot have 1, 1, right? Because 1 and 1, let's say. So the only case is 2, 5, 7. Same. And then the rest is just 1. 2 already used. So 3, 4, 6. Okay. So how many kind of arrangement do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So hence my probability p will be 4 divided by 63 is the total number number of ways of dividing so the probability p will be 4 over 63 okay we have completed this lesson thank you for watching this video i hope you have enjoyed today's lesson goodbye and see you again in another lesson if you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.